Hi friends. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to make something that I've wanted to try for some time now. And I've seen it all over the internet. In YouTube videos and Facebook videos. This is one of those simple dump cakes. All you need is cherry filling. Yellow cake mix. Butter. A stick of butter. Half a cup. And your cooking spray and of course a 9 by 13 pan. Let's get started. We'll start by using the pan, getting the pan and our cooking spray. Otherwise it'd be very sticky. I'll tell you before this I had put the cherry filling in first. I had to take it all out and put it back in the can. So once you spray You're going to take your cherry pie filling and dump that into the pan. This is the easiest cake to make. We're going to put all of the filling in the bottom. Nothing could be simpler. Not all that mixing in a mixer and all those added ingredients. There's plenty of sugar in both of these ingredients. Get all the good sauce out of there. Spread it on the bottom in an even layer. You could even use a second can if you like to add more cherries. I have one, but that will require me getting up and going to the, the shelf to get it, and I'm not going to. So we're just going to do this. And the next step is to add your yellow cake mix. And you just sprinkle it evenly all over the top. And all the cherries. It makes like a cobbler. This is essentially what it is. Now, I've seen this, I've watched a lot of videos to make this, and it all seems to come out well. So what we're going to do, we're going to smooth the cake mix evenly over the top of the cherries. Here's a question. I've heard this a lot lately, and I never heard it until the last year. People saying over top. What is that? I always said over the top, but they're leaving the the out and it's perplexing me. So leave a comment below how, how you say, is it over top or over the top? I don't know. I'm, an over the, I'm in the over the top camp, but I hear a lot of people use it, the expression the other way. I know it's kind of weird for a video like this, but when I said it, it just made me think of it. So now we have a nice, even coat of the cake mix. And now we're going to take our sliced butter. I pre-sliced it, it's probably getting warm by now. But then you just add the slices to the top. And I hope I can separate them. They are getting a little warm. And so you do this all over the top. That will be your fat content for this cake. Slash cobbler. I know some of them do it. They look so beautiful. I'm feeling mine is looking a little, I don't know, looking a little something. You know, they've stuck together hands are warm, so naturally it's going to give me a hard time here, but we'll work it out. I always manage to work it out somehow. So whatever extra butter you have, if you don't have exact rows, just put it on like this. I'm sure it'll work out fine. I've seen some people have melted the butter and drizzled it all over the top. Other people have done this in four pieces across. I might depend on their pan 
but we're going to do the best we can and I'm sure I'm sure it's going to be outstanding so there's our butter and that's all you need to do I've also seen videos where they've added a little bit of brown sugar to the top of this sprinkled it I have also seen where they've put uh, chopped nuts pecans or walnuts or something like that I'm just going to do it like this because this is my first attempt and we'll see how it turns out we're going to get this in the oven 350 degrees between 45 minutes and an hour depending on how hot your oven is but keep your fingers crossed everybody see you in a bit so while that's in the oven baking I wanted to share something with you on this Easter morning this is something we saw in a shop, and I thought, well, I already had the peeps. I can recreate this at home. So we just made, and some of them are a little messy, but they're delicious. They're chocolate-covered peeps. So if you have peeps that you got for Easter, or your kids or grandkids got for Easter, and you have some chocolate chips lying around, in just, you know, a few minutes you can melt them and dip these in and have chocolate-covered peeps. They're really delicious and so colorful. I got four double packs of different colors, purple, green, pink, and yellow, and they look so cute. And truthfully, there were some peeps in the middle, but um, those are now in some tummies around here. But anyway, it's a cute little treat. You can whip this up in no time today if you like, if you don't have a dessert. And um, we also have our cute little peeps chicken coop here that we made which was quite fun so you can do simple things that uh, are fun to do with your children your grandchildren and that are really delicious I'll be back with the finished product of our dump cake I'm so excited I can't wait to try it out see you in a bit bye okay well here's the finished product we just took it out of the oven we're going to dig in and see how it turned out. Okay. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to have one of the children taste it. Here, watch out. Dig in and try it and tell me how it is. Mm. How does it taste? How's it taste? Um, good? Not good? Yeah. Sort of good? It uh, t tastes like... Um, uh, fried apples or something. Does it? Mm hmm Okay, well, I'm going to have a taste, yeah. and I'll let you know what I think. Here we go. Here's the finished piece. It's a little on the thin side, but the top is very crispy, and the, 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 uh, cherries are nice and moist, so here's a close-up view. Top's crispy. You can see in here where each of the pats of butter were where all these little circles are. That's where the butter was. But overall, I'm happy with it. It's not as thick as I thought it would be, but it's still tasty. It's more like a crumble than a cobbler. Cobblers tend to be a little more moist, but it's still tasty and not bad for my first attempt. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please come back and see us again real soon. Bye-bye.